Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be building a new ramp for my shed. I just purchased the shed on Marketplace and in last week's video, I put these up on posts, cemented in the ground, so it's more of a permanent structure now. Now I need to build that ramp, so if you stick around, I'll show you guys how I do that. After leveling, the shed was about two feet, a little less than two feet off the ground on one side where the door is. So this ramp needs to be quite long or else the mower's not gonna be able to go up it. So I'm planning to do about eight to seven feet long. Now I've got some deck boards for the top of the ramp and then two by sixes for those support beams and a few two by four scraps just for bracing for those beams. Now I've got a square, a level, You'll need some screws or nails. I've got a drill because I'll be using deck screws. And then I've got a circular saw, a few cement blocks that you might want to put underneath your two by sixes and a chop saw makes it a little faster and easier. I'll take one two by six to start and lay that in place about the height that I want. This will give me a good idea of how long I need to cut that two by six, as well as what angle I need to cut it to fit into place perfectly. So I'm gonna lay this out and then I can take a straight edge and transfer a line from the shed onto the two by six. This will give me the correct angle to cut that end. And then I'll do the same thing. I'll stack two two by fours on top of each other. That will give me a straight edge on the ground that I can then cut that angle. You can use joist hangers or brackets to hold the two by sixes onto the shed, but what was used previously for the last ramp that was on here they took a 2x2 two two and nailed that onto the face of the shed down along the bottom of the board and that gave you a perfect shelf to set the ramp down on top of. So all you're going to need to do is cut a 1.5 to 2 inch notch out of that 2x6 two and that will set right down on top of that 2x. That's going to support all the weight that's on the, the ramp and keep that from shearing the screws off and falling down. Now I'll also toenail a couple screws, you can use nails as well, into the shed and that will hold it in place and keep it from pulling away from the shed. Now I have one of those beams cut and it worked out perfect so I'm actually going to use that as a template to make sure I have all four exactly the same. I have all the 2x6s cut, I'm going to attach those now to the shed. To attach these I'm going to be using 2.5 inch long deck screws. They're made for pressure treated lumber and exterior use so they're not going to rust out really quick. So I'm going to put 4 or 5 screws in each of these 2x6s toe nailed into the shed. This will hold the ramp up against the shed and keep it from pulling away when you're driving up it. Next I'm going to cut a couple 2x4 blocks to fit in between those 2x6 beams. This ties them all together, keeps those 2x6s from warping over time, and also helps spread out the load among all the 2x6s that are there. I'm going to take a leftover 2x10 that I had from another project. It's pressure treated, I'll screw that to the bottom of all four of these 2x6s. And this will tie all of them together, but also keep it up off of the soil and keep those beams from rotting. If this one rots out, it'll take a while and it will keep everything else dry for a longer time. This also helps me level the bottom of the ramp and keep everything in place. Underneath the 2x10, I'm going to be placing cinder blocks to support the weight. 
I already put one down on the low end. It's a lot lower than the rest and that's actually the height that I cut the beams to be level at. So all the others I need to dig down a little bit in order to put a cinder block underneath it. This will help insulate all the wood away from the soil a little better and keep it a little more stable. bottom of the ramp is leveled on those cinder blocks. I'm gonna come back with a little bit of gravel and backfill that because it's still up off of the ground, probably four or five inches. So I'll be filling the rest in with a little bit of gravel so that the mower can drive right up onto the ramp. The frame is built and now all I need to do is attach the deck boards on top of the ramp. Now the old ramp was actually lower on the building. There was a little bit of a ledge that you had to drive over in order to get into the shed. I didn't want that. I wanted to be level with the flooring on the inside. So I'm actually going to have to cut just an inch off of the doors. And it's actually easier to do this before those boards are attached so I can close it and test it and see what height I need to cut those doors at. So I'll go ahead and do that now. So I've got both of the doors attached. Now I can just fly through adding in the deck boards. I'm gonna cut these an inch wider than the beams are so that there's a little bit of an overhang. So I'll cut these and it actually ended up being almost exactly five feet. So a 10 foot deck board worked perfect for this. So I can get two of these out of one 10 foot deck board. I'm using two inch long deck screws for this and I'm gonna be putting two screws per board on each of those beams. This holds it down, keeps it from bowing or cupping. Also the screws that I purchased had these spacers in there and it's perfect for this. So I'm using the spacers. You actually wanna separate those deck boards or else it will hold in more moisture and hold in dirt. If there's a little bit of a gap, everything will just wash off the boards and go underneath. And it also helps them dry out a little quicker too. All right, the ramp is finished. All I need to do is add just a little bit more gravel to even this out as the ground isn't quite level yet. So I'll add in a little bit there and that'll make it so that the mower can easily drive up onto the ramp and everything will work great. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this one. If you did, hit that like button down below and let me know in the comment section if this was helpful. Now I've got a lot more work I need to do around the shed. Inside there are no storage shelves or anything like that. So next week I'm planning on building some shelving so I can actually store things in my shed instead of having everything piled up on the floor. So stay tuned for next week as I build those shelves. 
I'm gonna test the ramp out real quick and take my tractor up it. This is probably the heaviest thing I'll drive into the shed, so this holds perfectly fine. It's definitely overkill for just a small tractor, but it should be heavy duty enough for anything that you guys need as well. Also, this is a lot longer ramp than probably anybody will need. It, most sheds are a lot closer to the ground, so you're looking at maybe three or four feet max. This one ended up being seven, seven and a half feet long. And if you need more strength, you can easily bump those 2x6s up to 2x8s or 2x10s. Alright, that just about finishes up the video for today. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not already. And I want to give a big thank you to all my supporters on Patreon. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much for your help and support for me to continue creating more of these videos. Thanks guys. I'll see you in the next one.